Hello everyone, I'm William Cutting 08 and today I would like to show you another way that you can wrap your knife handle with paracord. And um, as you can see here I have two different strands or two different colors of paracord and instead of melting the ends and fusing them together um, I just tied an overhand knot on each strand and I formed a bend. Um, now this is called the overhand bend and a bend is when you take two different or two separate strands of string tie them together to make one single strand of string and that's all I've done here. Um, you can use a single um, color or you can use two colors how I'm using. I recommend that you use two colors because it um, when, when you wrap the handle uh, the finished product looks really nice. So what we're going to do is you're going to find the midpoint or the middle of the paracord and you need about five feet of paracord um, and then you just place the middle of the paracord or the midpoint right there um, on the finger choil area. So then you just do that. Now here's where you really have to pay attention. Um, as you can see here the green strand is on the left and the tan strand is on the right. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to twist this 180 degrees and just twist it and then bring it over so it's like that and you don't want when you twist the paracord you don't want it to look like this but you want them to overlap each other like that and you also want to make sure that you remember which way you twist it now you can twist it counterclockwise or you can twist it clockwise but remember which way you twist it on the first side so I'm just going to go ahead and do uh, counterclockwise and then on the opposite you uh, for the opposite side you want to twist it the opposite way so I did counterclockwise on that side I want to do clockwise on this side so let me go ahead and demonstrate that clockwise and then you just bring it over the end of the handle and tighten it. And then once you get it pretty tight, just flip it back over. And since I did clockwise on this side, I want to do counterclockwise on this side. So there's counterclockwise and clockwise. counterclockwise. Now as you can see our pattern is developing. Now on this side we have the green overlapping the tan and on the opposite side you have the tan overlapping the green. Now that's what you want um, when you're doing this wrap because it looks really cool and you get you get to see both colors. So let's see which way. Clockwise counterclockwise and you just continue doing this uh, twisting them clockwise and counterclockwise on each side um, until you get towards the end and then um, I'll show you how to finish that off but um, I really do like this wrap oh if you mess up then you'll definitely know that you messed up because as you can see here just like how I've done you'll have tan and then all of a sudden you'll have like a random green now um, for this paracord wrap you just want to make sure that you do um, that you do the same that you twist the paracord the same way that you originally started out with so there we go clockwise counterclockwise. Now when you're doing the paracord wrap, um, as you're wrapping the handle and you're getting towards the end of the handle, go ahead and bring the paracord wrap up and over the lanyard ring, probably about one-fourth of the way. And let's see, did I get that right? Nope. Clockwise. And counterclockwise. 
counterclockwise. And I'm going to do one more. Actually, bring it not one fourth, but for this wrap, do it halfway. Let's see, clockwise. So there we go. I'm just going to push it down a little. So there we are. We have it halfway. And if you notice, uh, this this strand of paracord um, kind of just would like to go through just like that. And this strand seems like it wants to go over, under, and around just like that. So you'll just go ahead and let them feed naturally um, through the lanyard hole just like that. And you just continue wrapping it around the lanyard hole. And I'm going to do one more. And then you do the the same for the um, other side. Oops. Okay, let's see. Get it through there. And let's see. This should be the last one. There we go. There we are. We should be very close, um, and you should have something that looks very similar to what I have here. Let's see what happened there. Oops. For some reason I tied like a weird knot in there. Let's try that one more time. Well, we'll just leave it like that. But anyway, you get the gist of it. Just go ahead and wrap it around. Um, wrap it around the lanyard hole, just like that. And now you're ready to finish it off. Now this part you can be very creative. You can uh, wrap it with what um, with a basic uh, overhand knot and that's usually what I do because it's very simple and um, it's not as bulky but all you do is you just form a loop like that and then take these strands and feed it through that loop so it looks something like this whenever you finish just like that. Now you can be really creative. One of my subscribers, uh, he also uh, does his own knife reviews. His name is uh, I C Chap, and he recommended that uh, you could do the figure eight knot. Now the figure eight knot is almost like the overhand knot, but it's, it has some differences. Um, the overhand knot is very popular with rock climbers and I definitely use the overhand, lot, uh, the overhand knot pretty much all the time and I've never met um, a rock climber who didn't use the overhand knot or not the overhand knot, the figure eight knot, that's what I keep keep getting confused but anyway let me show you how to do that so you'll just form the loop how you did um, just exactly how you would for the overhand knot but instead of going through this hole you're going to want to go around around the back side like this and then you bring these strands and feed them over and through the hole and then you get a figure eight knot just like that and it's a very durable knot but as you can see the finished product um, green over tan and tan over green on the other side it's very comfortable the texturing is very aggressive so um, you get an excellent grip and a lot of added comfort when you uh, when you're using the knife. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm gonna call this wrap the 180 katana wrap, and please stay tuned because I have several more wraps that I would like to show you. Y'all guys have a nice day.